Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick face of the day and it's going to be based on all the products that I showed you in my most recent drugstore haul. So I'm just going to go, go through all the products and kind of talk to you as I apply them to my face and let me know if you like this style of video. I feel like it's kind of helpful um, for me to do a haul and then just kind of show you all the products on my face and show you how they actually work and then if you want like a further uh, review I can do that too. So I'm just using my CoverCurl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I find like it's just a really easy foundation. I was actually talking to my friend about it the other day and she was like, it's amazing. Like you can just throw it in your purse. It's in a little squeeze tube. It's so cheap. Even in, in Canada, it's cheap. Um, which is not the case for all foundations lately in Canada. Like the Revlon stuff is out of this world. It's like 20 bucks, even at Walmart. It's like, what is this, Australia? It's ridiculous. Um, then I'm going to use the Ready Set Gorgeous um, Concealer, <laughs> which I don't really like. Um... I've been using it for just like highlighting since I got it and kind of tried it out on its own but I'll show you what it looks like on its own um, as I mentioned in my drugstore haul which I'll link down below um, it doesn't like like if I just use it on its own like you can still see my freckles and I have no problem with my freckles but my freckles are kind of under my eyes so if you can see my freckles you can see my dark circles. I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face now. This is using the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder, which wasn't in my haul, but this powder brush was. It is the Flower Beauty Powder Brush. And in Canada, oops, sorry. Um, in Can Canada, you can't actually get this powder, um, which is a bummer. They don't, we don't have Neutrogena makeup. Um, so I, whenever someone goes to the States, I always get them to pick me up <laughs> some of it because I'm crazy like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art, and uh, this stuff is amazing. It almost swatches a little bit better than it does apply to the eyes. Um, I still haven't figured out the best way to put it on my eyeballs yet, um, but it comes with this like kind of doe foot applicator and this coppery, beautiful, and it literally doesn't move, and then like a glitter liner. See, I've got like this weird kind of cyst thing under my eye um, and it's still totally visible and I'm not at all brightened under my eyes from that concealer but for video's sake I'll leave it like that. Um, then for blush I'm going to use NYX Terracotta which is like gorgeous, so pretty. Um, normally again I wouldn't use this on its own but I'll show you what it looks like. I generally kind of put it over another blush but if you pack it on it does look good. It's like a nice bronzy, shimmery, but not too shimmery. So you can see there on my cheeks, the glow it gives me. And I'm just going to... Back to my eyes, I'm going to use my NYC Sunny Bronzer, which wasn't a part of my haul, but I just want to basically put one more shadow in here to kind of define my eye a little bit more. And then I'm going to use the other end, which is like a kind of a glitter liner. And I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. And you can see it's just super pretty. And then I'm going to use my NYC mascara, which has this huge, huge brush on it. Um, but I really like it. So if you have like kind of long lashes or kind of bigger eyes, you'll like it too. Um, but I think if you have like sparse lashes or small eyes, it won't really work for you because it is just so obscenely large but it really really helps you hold the curl it gives me nice big lashes so that is that there and then lastly I forgot to mention this in my haul oh my god it's the it's literally the best thing ever um, I've seen Miss Holly Berry's talk about these before and she hated them but I think she was getting the ones with the shimmer in them um, but is the Wet n Wild Mega Last liquid lip color and this is in the shade high pitched wine and it is like that perfect kind of rosy brownie lip color that everyone is looking for oh actually before I do that no I'm gonna do that and it's seriously like it doesn't budge it dries down matte stays on your lips forever and I'm so impressed it's super cheap too um, and then I'm gonna use my L'Oreal makeup extending setting spray 
I don't know if I got kind of a faulty one of this. I really like it, but like it literally, I'm covered in setting spray right now. So it kind of like sprays down. So I guess I should be holding it up higher. Never really thought of that, but um, yeah, so that is my face of the day from my drugstore haul. Let me know if you like this style of video, kind of like going over my haul um, and putting it on my face and kind of chatting through. Would you prefer a voiceover? Or would you just prefer like me not talking at all and uh, just kind of putting the products below? Um, but yeah, that's everything. I love this eye. It is like so glittery, but like not obscene. And then this lip is just like... It's amazing and it's like three bucks in the States. It's probably even cheaper. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to find me on Instagram and Twitter. It's at Samantha Jane YT. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, I have a drugstore haul for you today and I'm super excited because I love drugstore makeup. This is all things that I've collected over the past uh, few weeks.